Got a little visitor. You want to say hi? Hey, baby. This is Stella. Can you say hi to anyone watching this video, Stella? Hmm? She's wondering why we're not out there playing. Dad, what are you doing in here? So today, I thought I'd test out my new Dan Durston X-Mid 1P and see how it held up against some wind. The weather forecast for today in my area is cloudy with 20 to 30 mile an hour winds with gusts occasionally over 40 mile per hour. I'm set up in my backyard. Just wanted to share my experience with you all and see how this does in, you know, 30 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour plus wind gusts. Quick disclaimer is that my backyard is pretty tent stake friendly. So the total weight, including all eight stakes that come with it is 857 grams or 30.2 ounces. So I have the tent staked out in all four corners. One on either side of the vestibule. You can see one there and the same thing on the other side. And then on the peak of either side, there's this cordage that runs down to help support the, the whole structure. There are other options as well. If you wanted to add more stakes, there's one here on either side. It's pretty gusty out here and this thing is it's doing really well. And then there's two more spots that you could stake out on the other two sides of uh, the vestibule. It's got a seam sealed zipper, very smooth. Those little things matter to me. Got these nice vents on either side. Nice feature. I used this one time before, two weekends ago, at Spruce Knob in West Virginia, and the ground was extremely soft, so I didn't have as tight of a pitch, but it did pour down rain from about nine o'clock at night till 3.30 in the morning, and I mean, it poured, and I stayed bone dry. It's got an entry point on both sides of the mesh, the inner tent. Um, it is big enough, I'm six feet tall. As you can see, my feet are not touching the other end, which is nice. Um, the vestibules are huge on both sides. I mean, you can fit easily your pack and your gear on one side and whatever you want on the other. As you can see, there's a lot of room here in the vestibule. So the intent in its entirety does take up a pretty big footprint, so keep that in mind. Um, I'll put the dimensions of exactly what that is up on the screen. I'm not sure offhand here. Some other quick features about this. You got storage space up above your head across the entire length of the inner tent. You got these nice shot cords to roll up the door to the inner tent on either side, which is nice. And just a little quick hack, something I figured out, and if you were to get this thing, you'd probably figure out really quick too. But to gain a little extra space, I've taken this, this is for the, to roll up the uh, vestibule door. I take this thing and put it through the inner tent do this with one hand and then pull this tight and what it does is it pulls out the inner tent and it just gives you a little bit more real estate inside here I'm sitting straight up and down now as you can see I got plenty of headroom here you know my head's not crashing into the top so that's nice I got room there um, yeah the inner tent's got basically just enough room to sleep in, but the vestibules on either side being huge gives you plenty of storage space. The outer fly material is made of a polyester fabric instead of a silk nylon uh, material. The advantage of that is 
that the polyester fabric doesn't retain water or absorb water the way that the nylon material does. So obviously that helps a lot with drying out and you know it not weighing as much when you put it away wet in your pack. So that's a really nice feature as well. This thing's great. I, I really like this tent so far. It's affordable. It's around $220 on Amazon. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty windy out there and uh, this thing feels really secure. Just hanging out in the old Dan Durston X-Mid 1P. All right, it's now been several hours that this has been set up here in the uh, wind gusts off and on. Uh, set up around noon, it's about five o'clock right now. I have not retensioned or retightened anything at all. And this thing is still standing rock solid. Everything's still taut. The pitch is still nice and tight. This answered some of my questions. Hopefully it answers some of yours as well. If you found any value in this video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Thanks for checking out Backcountry Treks, or in this case, Backyard Treks. As always, I will see you on the next one.